co-host Jennifer, along with my co-host Donnie. That's me. Yes, that's him. Uh, before we can get started with this episode, here is Donnie with his disclaimer. Kids, if you're not 21 or of drinking age in other states, that's 18, whatever, it's time for you to go to bed, do something else. This show is not for you. So as we start this show... Hey! Do you have to do Class that? Class is in session, and yes, I have to do that every episode. <laughs> it's the only way I can shut you up. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. Go ahead! <laughs> Anyways, on today's episode, we are heading to San Diego, California, and we are bringing you nothing but belching beaver beers. Yes, as a matter of fact, and we're bringing you nothing but... Nothing but, hence the attire. Belching beaver, Deftones beer. So, that being said... That being said, we have what we well, actually, I should say, what we did was we bought a four pack. Well, it's, it's actually an eight pack, but it's two of each, and you get in this eight pack, you get Digital Bath, Good Morning Beautiful, Phantom Bride, and Ohms. All four beers in that uh, particular pack. But I can say after that, shortly after they released that, they had another beer called Beauty School that was released uh, shortly after that, which was a Pilsner. <laughs> I was going to say. I, <laughs> I sense something is going to happen here, and I'm not really <laughs> sure what it is. But uh, <laughs> who knows? We're probably going to find out later on the show. I have no idea. Probably. What you got, what you got first, though? Um, that pack will cost, the 8-pack will cost you about $20 for the 8-pack. Um, just so you know what, what you're looking at. Um, That's actually pretty good. Yeah, so 20 bucks for the 8-pack. Um, Belching Beaver, for us, is 48 miles away. Well, we've been there. Yeah, it's good. But they do have the two locations. Yes. Vista and Oceanside. Yes. So, <laughs> what, uh, let's see here. I, I know. We'll we get, have, we'll get there. <laughs> we have several, we have several beers that they've done as a collaboration with Belching Beaver. And we have two of them up front here. One of them is called Ceremony, which is a hazy IPA. That was released just looking at the can, it looks like um, August of 2021. So that's, that's... That's what happens when you have too many beers in the refrigerator. And it also looks like... Well, no, these are these are special cans that I just kind of keep. This is um, White Pony, and this was released 10 of 2020. So these are these two beers here. And like I said, you can't... These you're not going to find anymore. These are special beers that were done, and we just we kept them in the fridge just to for kind of because they're special beers. You know, they're all Deftones beers. Yeah, me love some Deftones. So, um, well, hell, let's start this. I'm waiting for you. You want to start easy or you want to start hard? Let's start easy. That's what I say, baby. <laughs> Yeah, we are trying to impress this brewery. Oh, okay. Sorry. Let's uh, keep it G-rated, please. Start easy. So, <laughs> if we start easy, what we're gonna do? Let me go through my little deals here. We're gonna start easy, what I consider easy, and we're gonna do their latest release, which is called Beauty School, and this is a Pilsner. Very simple Pilsner. Um, well, I say simple, but it's. Um, I say that because the other ones are IPAs. Um, pour a little bit here. Nice body. Very, very clean, as you can see. While you're pouring that, you want to know a fun fact? I do. I always want to know fun facts. They are building a location closer to us. In Murrieta. Oh, 
Nice. Very Let nice. Very nice. Yeah. So as we look at the can, I'm gonna I'm just gonna turn this around here. You can see what it says here. Uh, the Deftones Beauty School. It would be very identifiable as I do this because you're gonna see these giant lips here. And uh, just to give you a good idea of what the can looks like. Um, but other than that, uh, there we go. And yeah, be looking for this. You'll, you'll notice it right away if you see that. So anyway, this Beauty School Pilsner is a 5.0 ABV. The IBU is not, uh, not there. Um, we have 83 check-ins on this because it's a fairly new beer and it's, it's fairly hard to get too. I know here in California, there's a few places I can get it because that's where we're from, but yeah. other places it's, it's not very easy to get. On untapped, this rates at 3.80 and, uh, I, I, I made it a few quick notes here. It says, this is an easy, hoppy pill, just like the song. Slow and easy, yet hard and rock and roll. I don't know what the song sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> so, you ready to do this, lady? I'm waiting for you. Let's do it. I definitely get, I definitely get a little hop off the top. Like it's a, actually not that bad. A little hoppy off the top, but definitely crisp. Without even without even putting it down, I can tell it's going to be a very crisp beer. Oh, it's light and crisp. I don't do pilsners either, but oh, that is good. That is very that's good. Bad. Yeah, that's very good. I I do do like pilsner. that. Yeah, I do like that a lot. So, um, we're gonna move on. Let's um. I want you to do something that you're not used to. I mean, we don't do a whole lot of them on the show, but this is going to be a little special for me too because I haven't had this one. So um, I've been looking forward to it too because it was the first time I'd seen it, and, I, and I've got to have it. Like, right, it's one of those beers that you got to have to try. You say that to every beer you see. Hey. Um, <laughs> I'm just saying. That's why we have a fridge full of beer in the garage. This one looks good. I'll get that. Down. There's about there's oh, about 30 beers in the garage that I had to have right now as we speak. <laughs> and yeah, isn't 30 beers that he had to have, and just for good measure, he'll throw some in for me. So he yes, makes yes, him, yes. So it makes him feel good that he's not just buying them all for him. He will buy me some too. Yes, I do. And I'm buy talking like one or two, and his to his 30. I do buy her her <laughs> fruited burliners, her sours. Um, you'll see a lot of those reviews on Instagram, and. Uh, you know, kind of, kind of have a general idea of what she likes, but I've been lately. I've been hit and miss. Yep. Definitely hit and miss lately. I, I, I don't know why. I don't know if it's because. Because you don't pick them out how I pick them out. I pick them out by the can. <laughs> and for the most part, I'm actually pretty good. <laughs> I would say I'm probably ninety percent accurate on those. Yeah. So if you have a cool I, can design, say, I'm going to pick it out. I'd have to agree. I definitely have to agree. I mean, she's very, you know, cool can, whatever. So. I just like the can. Um, what, I, what I forgot to tell you on that last one was that Beauty School was the ninth collaboration with Belching Beaver that they had done. Mm -hmm. You know, so they've done quite a few collaborations with Belching Beaver. This one here was their third collaboration. And um, it's you called Good. Had this one? No, it's called Good Morning Beautiful. Well, hello there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're trying to do a show here, lady. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So it's a brown ale <laughs> with coconut. Coffee and maple. So, 
Anyway, this is a 5.5 ABV. The IBU is not available, and it, on untap, it rates a 3.90. Uh, I don't have the check-ins on this one. I don't I know can why. See why, because I actually like their aroma off of this, but. I didn't write the uh, check-ins, but pretty high rating for, especially for a brown. That's actually a pretty high rating. So let's let's do this. Oh, that does smell good. Like a coconut, like a coconut chocolate. Let's do it. Oh, I have a pretty good feeling our text, one of our texts is going to like this a lot. Ten dollars, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For the half a can. <laughs> <laughs> Make some money right she's gonna <laughs> she's gonna like this for sure it's just got that coconut pop to it that coconut pop is really tasty man I like it yeah I you know me I don't drink those dark beers, that is but that I, is good that is very good. good yeah very good I like it so let's move on to the next one coconut oh there's the coconut right there hitting last thing on the palate I'm going to move on to Ohms, which was prior, just prior to, I believe, White Pony, or just after White Pony. But, so, right around there, which is one of the later ones. Um, this is a Pale Ale, 5.5 ABV, 50 IBU. So, an untap, it rates at 3.75, and it's got 4,200 check-ins. So, very... A lot of check-ins, kind of, kind of high, but uh, not above four, which kind of has, you know, that's, people like it and people don't like it. So, anyway. Well, while he's pouring that, I do have another fun fact for you, but let me put my glasses on so I can say these names right. So, Belching Beaver was established in 2012. And... It was established by Thomas Vogel, Dave Mobley, and brewmaster Troy Smith. And Troy Smith was actually from a different brewery, and I didn't write that one down, but those are the three that uh, came up with Belgian Beaver. 2012. So fairly new. Ten years. Sounds good. Ten years. Maybe they're having their 10 year anniversary just like two people I know are having their 10 year anniversary. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, two, two people that might be doing that pretty soon here. If, so. If somebody makes it until next month. Let me see what I have You'll over here. You'll make it because I need some presents and then. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. So anyway, in this Ohms, um, we have characteristics of lemon peel, grapefruit, and citrus booming. Citrus booming. Well, I smelled it, so I'm... So, let's uh, take a look at this. It's very piney. Oh, yeah. We got some pine in that for sure. We got uh, definitely the piney IBU-ish coming off the top. You don't have the baby pines today. You have the full-blown pines today. Yeah. One. Yeah, definitely coming off the top. But not very strong. It's not very strong, but I still don't. I, I definitely get the lemon in this. I'd rather drink Good Morning Beautiful than this. Yeah, let me. I, I want some more lemon out of that. So I'm going to clear my palate with this urban water. Uh, by the way, I mean, George, one of our sponsors from Urban Water, is, is uh, in Corona, California. But you can get urban water uh, throughout they deliver California. Too. Yes, they do love her. So. All right, well, you want to know my last fun fact while he's doing that? So, the brewery began with a milk stout, which evolved into peanut butter milk stout. Mm. And Smith said that it put them on the map. And we've actually did that review of the Absolutely. peanut butter milk stout. And so. I, I would have to agree that that peanut butter milk stout that they made, yeah. It really did change me from thinking I hate stouts 
to this is delicious. Yeah, well, that's what I the mean, it was very good. Brewmaster said, put yeah. them on the map. That yeah. put them on the map. So there you go. There's the fun facts I have for Belching Beaver. Okay, now I get it. After clearing my palate with the urban water, I, I definitely did get the the lemon part of this, the lemon peel. And I say the peel because it is a little bittery, you know. Which you you have a lemon, it's it's like bang. But if you have the peel, if you're just like an orange, if you're getting the peel, there's that bitterness to it, and that's what I got definitely out of this. So anyway, that's uh, we'll do that. What do we got next? We got uh, the most common, the most common beer that you're gonna find out there. Uh, is Deftones Belching Beaver Phantom Bride. Now, you can pretty much find Phantom Bride anywhere, right? I mean, you see it at the grocery store everywhere, right? Yeah. So, uh, Phantom Bride is a 7.1 ABV and a 55 IBU. An untapped, it rates at 3.89 and has, and this is what tells you a lot, it has 60,000 check-ins. Oh, yeah. So you know, so very common beer. It's been around. Yeah, very common beer. Everybody's had it. And uh, it's uh, a badass can, I can tell you that. The, the can is badass. Uh, they did a really good job with the artwork on this. Uh, but anyway, this, this IPA has Amarillo, Citra, Simcoe, Mosaic... And uh, we'll definitely hit you with a citrus blast. So, uh, let's do that. Let's do this. Put this over here. And surprisingly, I've actually never had any of these. I just want to get that last one out of me real quick. Somebody doesn't share his beer. <laughs> Whatever. Share one all day long. You ready? Let's do it. Okay. okay. This one definitely hits you more in the IBU than the last one. So, but it is a higher ABV too. So you got to consider that also. So. Uh, me personally, um, definitely, if you're more into the, the hopness of it and the IBU, which I know, you know, I've got quite a few friends who are more into that, that IBU hit, this is definitely for you. If you're not so much into that hit, then you probably like the Ohms a little bit better. But either, either way, it's still Benching Beaver, and it's still, you know, you're still looking at pretty much the, uh the same type thing now our last one, last one what you got, what you got? is the fourth collaboration that belching beaver and deftones did together it's called digital bath which is i can tell you what the first time i had this i had to have more now that being said, I went out and I couldn't find it. I was say you say that about every beer you need. I couldn't find it. It Did was you look hard enough for it. It was one of those special things that they did, and I just couldn't find it anymore, which kind of upset me. But here it is again. Finally, I'm able to have more digital bath. So you just didn't ask me because I have the contact. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Where's my phone? Oh, you're lucky. Let me call you. Let me check the contacts there. <laughs> On your phone? <laughs> Go ahead and check your phone. So, this digital bath is a 6.5 ABV, which is your alcohol by volume. Your IBU in this one, which is your international bitterness unit, is a 30. This one has 13, 
3,400 check-ins and rates a 3.89. So we're right on the borderline of of great goodness. You know, I would say that that four point ish four point is where everybody says, "Yeah, this is a fantastic beer." And I think now that we have even more check-ins with this latest release, I think we might reach that goal for belching beer and Deftones on this particular beer on, on digital bath um, because it is good. It's very good. It's a new New England style IPA that uses Nelson Galaxy Mosaic and Citra hops. And then they add Citra, I'm sorry, Simcoe Cryo later on in the mix. So, anyway, let's do this. Uh, oh, she's already doing it. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> she... I have a feeling I'm not going to have that same reaction because I remember this beer being a very citrusy beer. I, yeah, I just, I don't do these beers. I, see, I'm still on the Good Morning Beautiful and I don't even drink those kinds of beers. See, this is, this is a, a, a very, it's a, you get a little bit of citrus in this, but I also have a late earthy feel in it. Like, um, oh, yeah, I just got that earthy feel. So, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, well, the, the earthy feel I think is probably brought from the galaxy hops in it. That's I'm looking at the notes here, it's got to be the galaxy hops on the late end of this. Yeah, definitely an earthy feel on the end of the palate. Um, yeah, that's that's what it and is. And these are my style of beer, so that's why you get the phase. Just, I do like, like I said, I do like the Good Morning Beautiful out of all of them. So, and I don't even drink that style of beer. That's all I've got, lady. That's all you got. All right. Well, we hope you enjoyed this episode of Belching Beaver Beers. So we want you to be on our podcast if you are an Whoa. oh my god would you stop seriously you want to do this stuff quiet if you're an artist a musician a brewery or an average show or average strain we would love to have you on the show you can showcase your talent we can do an episode exclusive of your beers here in the studio or on location or you can sit up here with us and give your take on the beers that we are trying. Also, make sure that you are subscribed on YouTube. That way you get notified of our weekly episodes that drop. And follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. That's all I got. Thank you, Urban Water, for our in-between beers. And that's about it. What uh, What are you doing? Uh, let's I'm doing see. my apple juice. Okay, I'm going to do... Good morning, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Ready. <laughs> As we end this class, we want you to raise your glass and cheers. Cheers. See you next time. <laughs>